Hello everybody, today I want to present you something about the new Fibaro motion sensor. As you know the Fibaro motion sensor is a very good device but has a very very big problem. Uh, I say problem because for me it's a problem. The problem is inside here, you can take a look of this beautiful device that has a built in uh, temperature sensor, motion sensor, uh, accelerometers and uh, I think uh, it has a problem, like I say, the problem is this, the battery. Yes, for me the battery is the problem. Why is the problem? Is the problem because I have uh, this sensor in uh, every room in my house and the problem is in the room that I access more often the battery go, uh, go down. Uh, for example, in the bedroom I need to change the battery I think uh, two months, maybe three. In fact, uh, in some rooms, for example in the attic where I never go, the battery can last I think one year or maybe two years. The battery from Fibaro is a very good battery, it's lithium battery, it's 3 volts battery, but it's expensive. I need to change every 3, room, three months, I don't like this. So, what I decide to do next, I decide to put this small device inside the Fibaro unit. So I will power the Fibaro motion sensor from external source. Yes, this is a tiny device. This tiny device is very very small. I think it has uh, 3 cm or 2 cm. It's very light and uh, you can put inside uh, any Fibaro motion sensor, Fibaro smoke sensor, even into the Fibaro uh, water detector detected sensor okay so this device it's a step down module i buy from aliexpress you can find the link below into the description it's very cheap i think uh, to do two euro for four devices so 50 cents for one it's okay for me okay this device has uh, one arrow on the back and show me the direction where you can put the in you can put the input out and the output uh, for better uh, mount into the Fibaro unit, I decided to put this tiny connector. This connector also buy from AliExpress. is very very cheap. It's very very tiny, but allow you to disconnect the Fibaro from uh, from the power source in order to replace it or clean it or do anything you want. Okay, in uh, one side you will put the 12 volts and in another side you can put uh, the motion sensor. Okay, I have here a power source that show you I set it to 12 volts. Okay, let's connect the, um, the tiny step down module. Red is the plus and uh, black is the minus. Okay, let's take some measurements in order to, to be sure that the device uh, have the proper voltage in before we set up into the device. Okay, uh, now we select the power and change it. It have a tiny wheel. Use the screwdriver and you try to set the proper voltage. For our Fibaro sensor we go around 3 volts. Okay, after that you will try to connect this device to, to the Fibaro sensor. I use an iron station, I will put the tiny connector, black it's the negative, I will put on negative, I made some um, some drawing into the Fibaro sensor in order to set the properly uh, connector, okay, and the red it's the, um, the plus. Okay, after that you will have a sensor with tiny connector. So double check, red is the plus and uh, black is the minus, you can take the battery and check it again. Ok, after that uh, we need to solder in the two wires, these two wires will go into the wall, you can use any wall wires you want. For me I use the black one for the minus or negative and uh, the red one for the plus or the positive. Like I said, I use this step down module to to bring the tension from voltage from 12 volts to 
3 volts in order to, to put this into the Fibaro motion uh, sensor. After you put all the wires, you need to check again. Okay, before do that, I need to make a hole here. Sorry Fibaro guys, fix in your logo. I will make a big, big hole. Okay, it's not so big, it's 5 millimeters, it's just for uh, put the wires through and uh, go outside into the wall. Okay, after you make the hole, yes, 5 millimeters, it will be okay. Oh, okay. Let's try to put the, the wires inside. Yes, it's very, very tiny hole. Okay, you put the connector and you will pull out the, the wires outside. You will have red for plus and black for minus. After that, just connect the, this tiny connector and try to put all together. Yes, in this uh, demo I use uh, big uh, wires because I want to show exactly how much space you have inside after you remove the after you remove the battery and put this uh, tiny step down model. After you will put uh, all together, just uh, close the Fibaro motion sensor and set the power voltage to 12. And let's try it. Okay, let's put the black to the to the minus and the red to plus and voila our Fibaro motion sensor is now powered from external source this is very good for you if you don't want to replace battery every month every year for me i decide to put all my motion sensor on external power powered from 12 volts so in this way i remove the the battery it's more convenient to to have this instead of battery. How I say, the battery is not good for me. I have a lot of motion in my house. I have a small child, so the bar of sensor with battery is not a very good solution. You can put the, the wall mount and you will see, it's very, 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 very okay. So, this is my setup for the Fibaro motion sensor with external power. So, if you enjoyed the, the video, please, subscribe hit the bell and uh, i will wait you here with uh, many videos like this i will try in the next video to to set up this uh, tiny step down module into the fibaro smoke sensor and remove this battery and in this way your device will stay longer longer on